On first news today, field side of a cauliflower field, and this is up at the Agricultural Center on the Mesa from the University of Arizona. It's a big uh, uh, vegetable uh, plot here, and they're doing all kinds of experiments. But we're, as we look at this, we look at a healthy leaf of cauliflower, and uh, that's what you want to see. But if you look at this other one that Dr. Mike Matherin's holding, it's not so healthy. Dr. Matherin's a plant pathologist with the University of Arizona at the Agriculture Station here on the Mesa. And Dr. Uh, Matherin, what is wrong with this particular leaf? Well, as you can see, it is diseased, and uh, the disease that we're uh, witnessing right here is, is something called black rot. It's caused by a bacterium that, in, that actually infects the leaves of this uh, cauliflower plant. Now, this is uh, uh, something that, how has it gotten? Is it pick it up through the root system and, and systemically brought into the leaf, or does it start somewhere else? Actually, this starts on the other end, on the top of the plant. Uh, it, uh, bacteria in general are carried by uh, water. And uh, so if water, infected water, uh, becomes uh, in contact with this leaf and uh, the bacteria can gain entrance into the plant that way and, and initiate disease that you see here. Now, a lot of these things, folks, begin with the problems that we have in the soil, because in the soil, Dr. Matherin is going to tell you some astounding things. Let's take just a little gram of, uh, of dirt, or soil, as you want to call it. What, what do you find in just that little gram of soil? Well, I call it dirt sometimes, too. Oh, okay. But uh, if you take a, a ball of dirt, about the, uh, well, one gram of, of soil, which is about the size of a pea, if you were to take that, scientists estimate that there are over a hundred million, that's a hundred million bacteria in that soil alone. And additionally, there are fungi and a few algae and something we call actinomycetes in there as well. So that little ball of soil is just very, very active and teeming with life, even though when you look at it, it, it just looks like dead soil. Now this is the reason mom tells us to wash our hands, isn't it? Huh? Well, that's one of the reasons, and a very good one at that, yes. <laughs> well, M Glenn, I mean, uh, Mike, what, what uh, then causes it to get to the plant? Is there have to be certain exact conditions to cause that? With respect to black rot? Yeah. Uh, well, black rot, another way that black rot can be initiated is through the seed. Uh, if this plant that I have here with the infected leaf were allowed to be produce the cauliflower seed, a good portion of those seed would be infected with the bacterium. When the seed are planted, those, those little seedlings would be infected from the very beginning. Could they have uh, detected this in the seedling itself? Right. Uh, often it'll appear in the seedling. Actually what happens, uh, the seed are actually assayed. A, a given amount of seed are crushed and the bacterium is, is uh, the presence of the bacterium is assayed. If it's found, then that seed lot is, can be treated with hot water to remove the bacteria okay. or, or uh, used in an area where you're not going to be producing seed. Black rot, and it's a very serious thing to plants. Just tell the folks quickly uh, what happens if this takes over. Well, what happens, uh, initially, you don't eat the leaf, so it's no problem, but, but the bacteria will move from the leaf into the developing cauliflower head that we do eat and uh, makes it unmarketable. Okay, this is not poisonous to the human being, though. Oh, no, it doesn't hurt the human being, but it causes the cauliflower to have this blackish uh, color, which is quite uh, unsightly. So this could have been stopped at probably the seedling uh, when it was grown. Well, Dr. Matherin, thank you. Thank you, George. Dr. Mike Matherin's a plant pathologist. He tries to find out what causes the problems in these plants that we grow here in the great desert southwest. I'm George Gatley, and that is First News Today.